viewers um it's russian zombie here and today i'm going to be showing you how to uh download and use the fallout new vegas jack uh editing software thing um so first uh i'm going to give you the link to this page uh you're just going to download it so once you've downloaded it you have this here and you will open it up with WinRAR or WinZip or something like that and uh, I suggest extracting it to a folder such as this one oh no don't extract it to that folder instead um, what I do go to your Fallout New Vegas directory and it's in Steam to download it from Steam go to Steam apps uh, common New Vegas and here it is. Uh, so go to your Fallout New Vegas directory where all the files are um, and extract this into the directory. Once you've done that, open it up and uh, let me just close all this down. Okay, so if you when you open it up, you have all these windows. So to start off, um, you can change the size of the windows. So I've this is what I'm comfortable with. So once you got it open, you go file and you're gonna hit data, and uh, you are gonna open up. You you won't have this one. This is one I've made before. You are gonna open Fallout NV.ESM, which is the actual Fallout New Vegas game, and you're gonna click OK, and it'll load up the files you can see here at the bottom. It says loading files, 14%. Um, so yeah, you just gotta wait for that to load. It'll take about a minute or something. Um, in this in this video, I'm basically gonna be showing you how to make a um, a custom weapon that's loaded. And um, yeah, so what you're gonna do? Um, you have all these windows here. Uh, and here you have um, the cell view. The cell view uh, is basically like uh, the places in the world, sort of. You, you've got your interiors, you've got all these places here, uh, wasteland, all this stuff like that. It's a bit complicated. Uh, you don't really need to know about this a lot. Uh, choose interiors, and uh, I'm gonna search for Good Springs. Um, here it is, GFs. And I'm going to choose the Good Springs General Store. Basically, what that does it will load up in here Good Springs General Store for me. Now here you can um, you can move the camera around by holding Shift and looking around. Uh, scroll to zoom in. Uh, it's really fiddly this uh, this camera thing. It's really annoying. Uh, it's really hard. But here you've got um. All the items, all the things that are actually in the general store. Like you've got your basement lights, you've got all the lights, all the things here, they're all here. Uh, I'm gonna go to the display case glass and let's see. Uh, you can see I've uh, got that guy here, the general store owner. And uh, we've got the glass cabinet thing that is actually. Bollocks! Sorry. Uh, you've actually got the uh, the thingy inside the store here. The man. I'm just going to zoom in so we have a good look at this table. And so basically, what we're going to do, uh, you are going to find a uh, weapon in here. So you're going to hit weapon and uh, scroll down, and you see all these wep uh, here. This is a, has a list of all the weapons in the game, even the weapons that you can't actually get in the game. Um, and we're going to edit one of these. Um, let's edit. Hmm, uh, let, let's edit the pulse gun. I've not really played a lot of Fallout New Vegas, uh, but I do have experience with GAC, so I don't know what the pulse gun is. Because uh, I've only just started, but you know, uh, I'm going to choose Pulse Gun. 
go and double click it and you'll get this window. Now for the ID, put in something like, um, what, no, I'm going to put in two, um, test web. And uh, the name is what it's actually going to be called in the uh, Fort New Vegas game. The ID is just what it is uh, in the object window here. Uh, the name is actually what it is in the uh, Fallout New Vegas game. So I'm going to call it the Zombinator 2. <laughs> and uh, you can leave this, ignore that. Object effect, um, ignore that. Here you have ammunition, which is what obviously what ammunition it will uh, use. Um, if you could have something stupid like alcoholic drinks or something, uh, nuka cola bottle tops, whatever. Um, it's a really weird stuff. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it a small energy cell. Clip rounds, uh, obvious. Let's just set that to something like forty. The skill, well, what kind of skill it is, is it, uh, you could have something stupid like a gun in the speech skill, something like that, but I'm going to keep it in energy weapons. And here you have game, da game data, art and sound, rumble, mod info, and uh, damage per second info. Uh, but we're going to start with game data info. Here you have how much uh, the weapon weighs. I'm going to change something silly like one. It's health. I'm gonna change it to 300. I'm gonna make this weapon really overpowered. The reach is uh, kind of obvious. Fire rate, how fast it fires, and keep it like that. Spread, um, how far the the shots uh, spread, sort of in the cross. Uh, sort of this. <laughs> Sorry, I don't explain that very well. But yeah, uh, spread. Your sight, field of view, because it has a sight. That's uh, how far it zooms in. Critical damage is how much it hits on the critical hit. I'm going to change that to something like 500. I don't know. Uh, ignore A mark. Um, critical effect is uh, say you've got a critical hit on them in VATS or it doesn't have to be in VATS, but if you've got a critical hit on whoever you're killing, uh, what, anima oh yeah, what animation will happen to them? You have something like flame or critical effect, or like set on fire or something, I guess. Laser disintegration. I'm gonna uh, change to alien disintegration. So when we get a critical hit, they're gonna like vaporize, disintegrate. I guess. Value. Uh, that's how many caps it's worth. Damage. Uh, that's its base damage. I'm gonna change that to something like 400. Ammo use. How much ammo it uses in a shot? I guess. Uh, change that to one. Projectiles it fires out from one ammo. I'm gonna change that to three. Ignore the uh, the limb damage multiplier. Base VATS chance to uh, VATS to hit chance. Basically, that's when you're in VATS, uh, your chance of hitting something. So I'm gonna change that to 100. Critical multiplier. Obvious. Change that to 100. Uh, kill impulse. Impulse disc. Uh, ignore that. Resist. You don't want anything like that. On hit. Explode only. Uh, something like. When you hit them, are they just going to explode? Are they going to dismember and explode? Uh, something like that. Your range, your override, uh, how many action points it costs when using that, or whatever. You change that to zero. Change to one because we're hardcore. That's attack. This is basically what it will. This is basically for um, melee weapons, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm also going to make it silent here. Uh, means it's silent, <laughs> but yeah. Art and sound. You can view the model of your gun. Quick edit. That's what the actual gun's gonna look like. It can be pretty cool. Uh, you can edit that, but I'm not very good with uh, editing stuff like that. I don't understand the art and sound. Rumble. Ignore mod info. Uh, that's if you've got mods. Um, if you haven't, ignore that. And damage per second info, uh, just ignore that as well. So we've got our, our weapon, my Zombinator 2, and uh, we're going to hit OK. And this will pop up, and you yes. Now we're going to scroll right to the top because we gave it a number, it'll be right here. What you're going to do, you're going to drag it over into the game. And it's rather large. Uh, so once it's in the game, double click it, 
and you can change its position like this. I'm gonna make it go on its side. There we go. Oh bollocks. Um now I'm just changing the position a bit round here. There we go, is that on the table? Uh you're gonna turn no AI choir, tick that, ignore by sandbox, click that and hit OK and you should be basically done so what you're going to do hit save and you're going to save it into your Fallout New, uh, Fallout New Vegas directory and then in data folder and that was my first one so I'm going to call it test mod 2 um, and then just hit save okay, close this or it will close eventually and then open up Fallout New Vegas go to data files and then tick your test mod thing here hit ok and it will be in the game in the location where you put it which was the general store for me and then you can go ahead and use your weapon uh, which is going to be very overpowered um, in my next tutorial I may show you how to make a um, how to make armor or maybe even a uh, quest in the actual game which is quite complicated, so I might not show you. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you if this helps, please uh, thumbs up and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if you have any problems or send me a message. And uh, yeah, thank you and goodbye.